In this video, I bring you along with me for the second part of this two-part video series on why it's important to be connected to your local fire marshal, also why it's necessary to get all these people on the project involved, that way you don't make potential mistakes, and if you watch the entire two-part video series, you're going to have a way better understanding of why building these relationships is so important. But before we get into that, if you guys are interested in learning more about striping, pricing breakdowns, marketing packs, legal packs, and much, much more, be sure to check out the How to Stripe course. It will be the first link in the pinned comment section and the description. All right, let's go to the video. All right, what's going on, guys? Day two of being on this project. The first day wasn't too long. We striped for about an hour, and then we met the fire marshal to do our layout. And I am super, super thankful that we did. Because when I called the fire marshal out and then called the property owner out, so we could all three meet each other at the same time, guess what? I found out a detail that I would not have known had I not had all three of us meet together on site. And I'm gonna to talk to you about that later on in the video. You don't wanna miss this because it's super important because little details like this are what's gonna not only make you more money, but also save you more money as well. But let's talk about this job. All right, guys, now what I'm going to do is bring you up in the air with me to show you what the final project looked like because even though we initially started with that diagram, there was a change in it. So as you can see right here from the sky, as mentioned in the original plans, going east and west from the entrance of the gate. Well, we traveled down south, as you can see right here, when the fire lane starts going to the south, what happens is, is we're running into 45 degree angles. Of course, it's not a perfect 45, but you understand what I'm saying. You get the general idea. So overall, not too complicated of a layout, but when you see it right here, it doesn't look too bad. Now from the ground, you really can't notice it. When you're looking from the ground, you really can't notice the angle change. From the air though, most definitely, you can see it a lot better. Now what I'm gonna do is talk to you about why it's important to have everybody on the same page in meeting you on site. Right here is the gate where all of the incoming traffic is gonna be. This company is planning on installing a gate right here where this crack is all the way down here now when i originally got the plans from the fire marshal they told me to just go out and stripe it no big deal most people would have went out and just striped it no big deal lay it out make it fit on to the next one have a great day well we did not do that and i'm super thankful that we did not do it because the fire marshal did not know that the property owners were going to install a gate. So originally, if you remember from yesterday, we were going to come from that curve, angle over, and then meet at the parking spaces. Once we met at the parking spaces, we were going to use this line and then go all the way down there, if you remember from yesterday's video. So if you look right here, see the lines? That's where the old design was gonna go. It would have went down those lines and connected right there. When I brought the fire marshal out and the property owner, that's when the property owner showed us where their gate was gonna be. So there's gonna be a gate entrance right there and there's gonna be a gate entrance right there. So this is gonna be a sliding gate. Well, when the fire marshal found out that that was gonna be a sliding gate, guess what happened, guys? He said, oh no, that's not gonna work. So automatically, there was gonna to have to be a change in the original drawing that the fire marshal gave me. If we would have came out here and just striped it like the diagram said, this property owner would have installed the gate, the fire marshal would have came back out here 
And guess what? It would have failed inspection again because there has to be a certain width of access and this gate has to be locked, but it's got to pass through the gate. So the thing is, is if we would have striped it to the original plans like they would have showed us, what would have happened is it would have cut right through the gate. So the wonderful thing about it is we took the time to not only make sure this is how the customer wanted it, but we also took the time to call the fire marshal, to bring out the property owner, to bring out the people that were working the job so that all three of us could be on the same page. Now, anybody else probably just wanna went out and striped it, no big deal, collect the check, move on. But taking the time, you always want to make sure that you take the time because it would cost a lot of money to sandblast all of this striping up. And that's what would have had that's what 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 would have had to happen. At least a good portion of it over there, we would have had to sandblast that up because it would have been in violation of the fire code because it would be cutting right through the proposed fence. But luckily, we took the time to make sure that everybody was on the same page. Guys, as the service provider, it is your responsibility to not only follow the code but also educate the customer. All right? Take time. Don't just stripe a job because you have some plans because they could be subjective. We took the time, made sure everybody was on the same page, and then completed the job. And not only is this customer satisfied, but we implemented effective communication. And that's what it's all about. Educating the customer, communication, making sure that everybody's on the same page. And that's what's going to make you different than all of the other people that you're competing against because you are taking the time to not only make sure the job's done right, but that they're following code and that everybody is on the same page. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more about parking lot striping, pricing, laying out fire lane, code, so on and so forth, be sure to check out the How to Stripe course. It will be the first link in the pinned comment section and the description, and we will see you in the next video.